Graham time to have a look at the meeting at Menangle on Saturday night that has just been uh, run. Uh, first we'll start off with race number one taken out by the King of Swing. Yeah, very good performance by the horse uh, Greg in fast time, uh, positive drive by Mr Formosa. Uh, the horse obviously uh, seems to be on the way up. Alright, so what about race number two, Snow Cone? Proved too strong in that event? Yeah, again was well driven, uh, came back off the pegs. Uh, at the previous start the stewards did just inquire of Robert uh, Morris uh, some of the aspects of his drive and uh, the horse uh, continues to obviously improve in New South Wales. We did report that uh, there was a little incident at the top of the straight where Verde was uh, inconvenienced briefly by Snow Cone as it shifted out. We give uh, Mr Morris uh, the benefit of the doubt and advised him to take greater care in future. I'm a player, one, uh, one race number three. Very competitive affair. Um, probably benefited from the inside run in the straight as a result of the leader burning cash shifting out. Um, we did inquire of uh, Chris Geary the reasons for burning cash shifted out. He reported that the horse um, on entering the, the home straight uh, was inclined to shift out or hang out of its own accord which he managed to maintain his uh, line early in the straight however when he became aware of horses improving to his outside and become aggressive or vigorous on burning cash the horse then did show an inclination to lay out and it was that inclination which has probably afforded the winner uh, its opportunity. Uh, we did say to Mr Geary that uh, he needs to be remem remember his obligations in future to keep a straight path uh, where possible in the home straight. We did also report in the race that horses uh, Moto Miss Lily, Bigger Braxis and uh, Snoop Stride all had difficulty obtaining clear running in the straight. Okay, what about race number four? Now this was an interesting race because we had a protest, Midnight Prowler. Yes, um, look there were a couple of incidences. There was an incident shortly after entering the straight where Good Time Stride driven by Chris Geary uh, raced roughly for a short distance uh, as it got onto the wheel of burning ambition driven by uh, Mr Chapel, which uh, Guy Chapel, which, which shifted out. We did think, uh, listening to the evidence and reviewing the official vision, that uh, Mr Geary's horse uh, had contributed uh, to its own situation at the time, took no action against Mr Chapel uh, other than reprimand him. Uh, there was then an incident uh, where Midnight Prowler has managed to obtain a run inside Good Time Stride which subsequently uh, won him the race. Those two horses fought the finish out. Uh, subsequent to the finish uh, Chris Geary and uh, Mr Tritton uh, looked at the official vision in the straight and subsequent to that Mr Tritton did lodge an objection. That objection was on two grounds. Firstly that Mr Turnbull wasn't entitled to uh, attempt the run that he did and secondly that uh, he'd uh, caused some uh, in, in, uh, interference to good time stride. The stewards dismissed the objection they were satisfied that Mr Turnbull firstly was uh, in a position to attempt the run and secondly that the consequences to good time stride weren't sufficient to interfere with the placings. There was an incident as a consequence of that where uh, good time stride was taken out to Keel or Kimberley which uh, struck the wheel of uh, Good Time Stride, the sulky wheel of Good Time Stride and subsequently broke and Mr Turnbull was held responsible for that interference and uh, was suspended for, he pleaded guilty to a charge and was suspended for a period of 14 days. Okay, um, what about Courageous Adam winning a race number five? Look, just a good positive drive, uh, was driven forward and uh, and uh, basically asserted itself on that basis. Okay, so uh, double for Mick Formosa, who had a good night at Menangle on Saturday night. Uh, race number six, Cracker Jack Joe was too strong. Yeah, again, driven in a normal manner with a sit and obtained uh, the benefit of the gain from an inside run. Um, we did uh, note here that uh, Bohemian Heart was held up for a short distance. It was a good run. Uh, Rebecca Brown, I think, drove the horse. Uh, and uh, then in uh, the straight my guy Mac was also held up for some distance before running home strongly so a couple of good runs behind the winner there. What about race number seven the Les Champ Cup? Yeah. Um, gee this was there was a plenty of speed on early. Yeah well it, there looked to be more speed than what the time reflects actually. Uh, the time in the circumstances was probably moderate but they did hum off the arm. Um, look it was uh, I think it was a good race uh, for the industry uh, smart time uh, good quality horses ran up to their form um, we did report that uh, uh, I and Mr Brightside uh, went back rather than sort of being kept three wide and his run in the end uh, considering his age and it was probably his uh, 
he hasn't been tested in that company all that much. It was an excellent run for the future. Um, Tio and Tio probably had all the, the luck at vital stages of the race. Monafique, uh, uh, Monafique uh, raced roughly in the vicinity of the 500, and he uh, probably the noteworthy thing hampered Bling it on. Uh, Luke McCarthy was then obliged to go four wide around Monafique, and in the end, uh, probably took the edge off its performance in the home straight. Swaj Dewey Lombo went back there, and, and very important for, for punters to check the stewards' uh, Twitter feed because uh, Tritton. Mr Tritton did go to the stewards and tell him they were going to drive less aggressively? Yeah, Greg, um, I guess the industry, uh, there's various opinions about change of tactics, but where possible, uh, I'm uh, all for providing, providing the information to the punters uh, under the terms of the rules. I'm very comfortable with the way the rules work. Um, I'd ask punters to remember that uh, the change of tactics are reflected mainly in the early stages of the race. What happens later in the race, uh, sometimes uh, the consequences of, of the race and how the race unfolds uh, dictates how they're driven. But off the arm, I think it's important for the punters to understand whether they're going to be driven positively or being restrained. What about Bertie Mack in race number eight? Yeah, look, just Bennett of it from uh, basically the run of the race, got the best run in the race and asserted itself. Um, we did report Fellows of Trouble and I've Got a Life both uh, had difficulty obtaining clear grant. Okay, and the last event was taken out by Idle Lee. Yeah, look, we did um, um, delay cr uh, the all clear here just to allow us to have a look at an incident at the start with Vincennes. Uh, the back marker, basically after the tapes were released, he... Uh, was fractious and as a result the shafts got across his back which made it very difficult to for him to step away and subsequently the, uh, there's been a warning issued uh, in respect of its behaviour and uh, uh, I guess Mr Fitzpatrick's got some work to do because it's not the first time that he's uh, you know, showing the fractiousness at the start. And uh, the other um, information coming out of the stewards' room recently has been the protest at Penrith, second against first, um, with Philandra and last flight in. Stewards did go on, put the, the head-on footage up on Twitter just to try and give um, people interested in that stewards' decision some idea of what actually happened from the, uh, the head-on point of view. Yeah, look, um, I'm certain it's been a talking point just uh, listening to people around the track. The stewards... Um, Determine that uh, firstly had uh, Philandra's uh, uh, racing manners contributed to the to the incident at all and whilst on the side on vision it uh, did look as though that horse itself uh, wanted to lay in uh, if you have a look at the head on vision um, at all times the horse's head was turned out and uh, that led us to consider that Mr McAlinney from the time they entered the home straight was looking to clear the wheel of uh, Todd McCarthy's horse and uh, having regard to the manner in which Todd McCarthy's horse shifted up the track uh, we would say probably in excess of uh, a sulky width and having regard to the manner, the w manner in which the winner uh, finished the race off or both horses finished the race off but particularly the outside horse driven by Mr McAlinney when uh, it did get clear of Mr McCarthy's wheel. Uh, we considered that had he got clear at an earlier stage, he would have won the race. All right then, Graham. thank you for that, and we'll catch up with you again next week. Thanks, Greg.